Welcome to Fast Draw 101. I'm Howard Darby, and today we're taking a look at Fast Draw ammo and gun checks. Shooters on the line. Shooters set. When you attend most major Fast Draw contests, you'll need to have some or all of your equipment checked before you shoot. This makes sure that all competitors conform to the rules of the sport and everyone is competing on a level playing field. Now let's take a look at the process for checking guns and ammo. Richard, what are you what are you checking for when you're checking loads? Well, we're looking in here on the wad, how thick the wad is. It can't be over a sixteenth. Uh, and the powder, you can use uh, any kind of black powder, any kind of rifle powder, any commercial type of powder. Uh, we're looking that uh, if it hasn't got uh, anything, you know, looks heavy like coal, sand in it, uh, magnesium. You know, if anybody's heard that, that would shut off a balloon. You can miss a five foot and it'll bust a balloon. It's kind of a yellowish color, yellowish green, and it's got a smell to it. Okay. And that's what we're looking for in them. What are you doing when you're checking for the... All right, thank you. We're checking the guns to make sure that they are in specifications. The hammer can be raised above the frame, but no higher than one half of an inch. So we make sure the height is correct. The barrel can be no larger than a 45 caliber, so we have a caliber gauge that run down and make sure that you're no bigger than a 45. Then we have to make sure that the inner working parts of the gun is normal. So we have a safety, a half cock, full cock, and everything is in normal working order. And the gun is ready to go. And, your stock guns. and then we have our stock guns for thumbing, which the hammer is a little different. But we still have to check for the diameter of the barrel and make sure the gun is in normal working order for thumbing division. In addition to the gun check shown by Larry, there are a couple other things that are sometimes verified to make sure they meet the rules of fast draw. Larry mentioned that the hammer cannot stick up more than a half inch higher than the top strap of the gun. But the hammer could also not stick out more than a half inch from the center of the gun. In the case of this gun, the hammer has been built up slightly on the left side, the fanning side for a right-handed shooter, but the hammer is well within a half inch on both sides. Also, the trigger guard may be cut down but not through, and the trigger may not exceed beyond the edge of the trigger guard on the side of use. The gun check person will hold the gun upside down, look directly down on the trigger guard, and make sure they can't see the trigger. In the case of this gun, the trigger guard has been slimmed down at the front to make it easier to get to the trigger, which is a common modification, but you can see that the trigger does not extend beyond the edge of the trigger guard on the side of use. As a note, the modifications to the hammer and trigger guard shown here are only allowed in the World Fast Draw and Ohio Fast Draw Associations, not the Cowboy Fast Draw Association, which only allows stock guns. I'd like to thank Richard Parmentier and Larry Shipper for their help explaining the gun and ammo check. We hope to see you at a contest someday. Good shooting.